Hey, how you doing? This is John, and welcome to John's Long Box. Uh, today, I'm talking about noble causes. I've mentioned them in another video, which made me uh, go and uh, seek them out. Okay, this is not the first issue. This it, it's like a series of mini series, and after this, it, it became a long running series that lasted 40 issues. So there's a couple. So this, I just grabbed this one because said first impressions, special introductory one shot. There was a couple of mini series before this, but this is the story of the noble family and this is a uh, I'll, I'll get into but this is race noble he has uh, superpowers and this is his wife he has superpowers he has super speed abilities and this is his wife Liz Donnelly she I, I just I love this it she is a, a normal person she she worked in a bookstore and uh, he interrupted a you know met her during a, a, a book signing and uh, they world and romance fell in love but she's a normal person from outside the superhero world she ran a small bookstore marries race noble and intrigue happens so uh you can see her the the library public library you know books book smart and then his crazy family the nobles that's doc noble he's the father he's a super intelligent kind of uh socially awkward uh, he doesn't have any powers, but except for vast intellect, and he, he's great with machines. This is a bad guy. This is his. This is Race's sister, Doc's daughter, Zephyr. And uh, she was an innocent little girl who uh, got seduced by a, a, the bad, bad guy, and uh, a sex tape of her was released on the internet. And because of that, she like spiraled into depression and body issues, and everything. That's the type of comics this is. This is Gaia Noble, that's Doc's wife, and their mother. She's a sorceress from another dimension, so she's always young, always beautiful, always vain. She's media savvy. He's just a, a gruff good guy. She married her, she took care of like PR, so she, she became obsessed with like social media, the clout, and, and the status of the family, and it was even revealed that she was staging a uh, fights and f for photo op opportunities and uh, just caused a problem. She also had an affair and she has a son called Frost and Frost is like the leather biker bed, bad boy of the family and everybody's kind of uh, mean to Frost. Race is pretty, he's a good guy. He, he's pretty nice to, to Frost. He won't even look at him as you can understand and she dotes on him. That's, that's like her favorite favorite kid. So this is just a, a soap opera. So just like uh, I'm trying to think of the show that uh, Dynasty or something like that. Superpowers. It was just so much fun. Okay, so let's. This is Image Comics. Uh, look who's coming to dinner. Penciler Billy. It was just an assortment of artists, but the the writer was always uh, Jay Farber. This is Jay Farber's uh, child, and he had a, a thing about. I, I pick up any comic by Jay Farber. He, he he has a shotgun approach to comics. Just if it don't work, move on. This this I think he this he stick with this longer than uh, most. So this is uh, Noble Causes first print. Look, my my fingers are so dirty. September 2001 first print. Okay, so get that out of the way. So here we have a uh, opening set. I'm not gonna read this, and I I can't even go into the intrigue. It's just like a roller coaster. Who's sleeping with who? Who's breaking up with who? Who's a good guy now? Who's a bad guy? Oops, you have a child you didn't know about. It is that type of comp, and it is so much fun. Fun. It's the only way to describe it. It, it just goofs on every uh, comic book trope. So there's there's race running around. That's the Noble Estate. So think of like the Nobles as like the Fantastic Four, the the, the premier superhero family. They have a, a troll butler. Like I said, she she's a vain. Race is just like a like a good good guy, you know. He loves his his wife, and they they don't like Liz because she's normal. She doesn't bring up the the uh, the popularity. The what's that called? The the Q score. And there's Doc. Obsessed with his machines, like I said, not the, he, he's a good guy, but he's not a not a good people person. So uh, you're not even dressed. Oh, we have a function. Oh, geez. Aren't you even ask me what she's like? So he's talking about his wife. Okay, what you like in the sack? 
he's like, forget it. You know, he's just gruff. So he's like, that's not what I meant. So this is his little sister. She, uh, I just feel bad for her because she was like young, innocent, and goofy, and then uh, she came kind of corrupted. This is this is Celeste. He has a brother named Rusty, and Rusty's body was destroyed, and Rusty was Doc's favorite son. So Doc saved his brain and put it in a robot body, but before his body was destroyed, he was married to Celeste, and uh, she was another. Uh, she she didn't love Rusty. She just wanted to marry into the the noble family to get to get clout. So she's like protective of the family, but more so because it protects her status. And then, of course, they divorced because she didn't want to be with a guy who didn't have a body. And uh, Rust, Rusty fell in love with a, a a woman who's an android. So they they you know it's like I said it's it's soap opera ins and outs. So, I'm not even going through the comic, but this comic is just... I picked this one because it's just going to introduce all, all the characters. Okay? Or reintroduce, because there was a hiatus for a while. Now, that's Liz. That's Rusty's wife. Totally normal librarian book girl. That... Uh, where's Rusty? So, she's goofing on Liz because she doesn't have... It. But the thing is, she's smart. And she's sassy, and she doesn't take their nonsense. So when they say stuff to her, they were very condescending to her. She fights back. This is Draconis. He's a bad guy from another dimension. He's the one that made the sex tape with uh, with Zephyr. And uh, they Zephyr and him had a child that was stillborn. And that freaked out Zephyr. And uh, baby wasn't stillborn. It was taken by another villain. You know, just... But uh, he actually felt bad what he did and he became a good guy he kind of joined the noble family that's his father punishing him like i said ups and downs twisted turns roller coaster and here's doc summoning a gun because the science the dragon people this is all crazy they were just supposed to have a nice dinner and she's just like i, I just wanted to have a nice dinner <laughs> and she's oh that's right she's pregnant so she's throwing up in the bathroom and here comes frost so this is this is her husband's half brother. He was a product of, of a, a, a divorce with Gaia and like a frost giant. And uh, he's actually very charming, very nice. And uh, they treat him like dirt because, you know, mom, mom cheated. Doc won't even talk to him and Gaia dotes in him. So he's like, I met Frost. And he's, like I said, he's a good guy. He's like, oh, my, my brother, how's he doing? You know, and up. Uh, Frost won't really talk to him. I guess he feels like not worthy or whatever. And uh, that's Celeste. That's Rusty's. I think they're still married at this point. Rusty, who they didn't show yet in this comic. The uh, the robot brother. She's hooking up with Frost because that's the way it is. And there you go. And famous last words. Uh, from the desk. Of G he used to do these... Uh, under the Influence was his... In every comic, he used to do an article called Under the Influence because he, he writes for uh, TV shows and uh, he would talk about his favorite shows. You know, his, his favorite show was, was uh, Magnum P.I. And he, he he got me to watch a couple episodes of Magnum P.I. So he... I, I, I'm, I'm a unabashed Jay Farber fanboy. Uh, I, I, I don't... I think he's not doing comics anymore. And then this is... Uh, just a backup story of this. I think this is how Liz and, and, and Grace met. You know, the book signing goes awry. He charms her. She yells at him, what, what's going on? And so she, she gives him like a dressing down and he's like impressed because just think this is, this is Prince Harry and Brad Pitt and all the cool people rolled into one. He's surrounded by yes men all the time, and she actually yells at him, and he's impressed. He yes her out on a date. They hit it off, and uh, she stands him up because he's a superhero and he has to do something. And there you go, just married. I I think it's a, it's just a wonderful comic, noble causes. See now the 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 full on regular series starts, and I always like to Savage Dragon. The Tenth Muse. I never. I don't know anything about Tenth Muse. Talos, Kindred Spirits. This looks pretty interesting. And here's a guide to the, the family. 
Gaia. So that there's the matriarch and the patriarch. Frost, Race Noble, Zephyr Noble, Rusty Noble. Yeah, they didn't show him in this comic. Liz Donnelly's married. Who could keep track of who they're in love with? And Celeste Noble, Rusty's wife. That's the back cover. I highly recommend this comic. It's so much fun. It's 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 just a roller coaster ride. Uh, during the same time, Jay Farber also had another comic called Dynamo Five. It, like I said, he was always exploring family. I I, I wonder what's going on in his family life. But uh, superheroes and family was like his his interest. At least it was during this this period. And this is this is the comic that got me to notice Jay Farber. But he had Dynamo Five, and Dynamo Five were five children of Dynamo. He was like the greatest superhero, and uh, he had five children with five different women, and each one inherited one of Dynamo's powers. So one was super strong, one was super intelligent, one had like heat vision, and one was invulnerable and stuff like that. And they formed a team by uh, Dynamo's. Dynamo was killed, and then Dynamo's wife, who didn't, well, she knew that he was a snake, and she gathered his, his children who had the superpowers and, and, and uh, they formed a team because just because Dynamo is dead doesn't mean that his villains weren't. So uh, and so now you got people who didn't know each other. Now they're all family and different ones, rich ones, poor ones, black ones, white ones, Asian, whatever, all different cultures and they're a family. That, that was a great comic too. I'm, I'm surprised Netflix hasn't picked that up. But there you go. This is, this is Noble Causes. Just... If you like soap opera superhero stories, this is the comic for you. I do not know if there's any collected editions, but I, I don't think the back issues are too expensive. Okay, there you go. Thanks a lot. Please please, uh, please subscribe. My, my subscriber count is uh, staying stagnant. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.